Good morning everyone, so it's time to start off the day with some supplements. Now I do want to say, usually I have a lot of natural supplements, you know, from a lot of the natural stores that are made from food or berries or an ingredient from a fruit. However, these are just from the normal superstore Asda, but they don't have any negative or harmful ingredients in them, so that is why I'm having it. If they had like a spa tame in them, I wouldn't have them. If they had a school's fame in them, I wouldn't have them. If they had any sort of preservative in them, I wouldn't have them. But they, these three seem okay from Asda. So right, I'm obviously going to put this in the water. This would all fizz up. That is a thousand milligram of vitamin C and then a 15 milligram of zinc. Then I'm going to take a zinc on its own, which is that small one. So in total, that will be 15, add 15, that 30 milligrams of zinc. And then we're going to take a glucosamine, sulfate and vitamin C. And on the back of that, that is a 12 mg of vitamin C. And glucosamine, 393 mg. So, it is 1.31pm and I'm about to have my proper breakfast. So, after the fast from last night... I'm going to start off with them blueberries, I'm going to wash them, I always keep an old grapes container to wash the fruit in, so I'm going to have uh, blueberries, a lot of blueberries, I'm going to have the whole one of these blueberries, and then I obviously ran out of raspberries, finished them off yesterday, so we've got one, two, three in there, and we're going to have that fruit, and then about 20 minutes after this is all digested, we're going to have three boiled Eggs. So this is great. This is after the fast from last night's dinner. Obviously I only had the protein shake today and then done the workout. I'm cooking dinner. I think this is actually the first time that I've actually shown myself on camera today. I've just been doing it like point of view, almost like you're me in my kitchen. So yes, up here I have got spinach boiling away. There we go, we've got a load of spinach boiling away. And now, as you know, I don't actually have a lot of spinach. Now spinach has amazing health benefits of course you know we've got the zeaxanthin in there and the, all the other antioxidant properties however the only issue is it does contain a lot of anti-nutrients which actually cause mineral absorption such as um, phytates, phytic acid, oxalates, uh, nuts also contain these and some other foods. I'll do another video on this but spinach contains the oxalates and if you're having a lot of spinach, let's say you're eating spinach seven days a week, right? Which you shouldn't do. I don't think anyone does that. Don't do that because that's what would actually cause the trouble. However, there are other people that are really sensitive to certain vegetables and they would have a bowl of spinach and then it would cause them all sorts of digestive issues and also can actually cause a bit of damage to the small intestine and can actually lower your zinc, your magnesium because it stops your body from absorbing these minerals and the oxalates actually pull the minerals and then you don't absorb the minerals, it's all complex. So do look up oxalates, phytic acid, anti-nutrients and mineral absorption. Do a bit of research on it because it is quite interesting. And before I found that out, I used to be eating a lot of spinach and a lot of vegetables that actually have phytates in a phytic acid. I didn't even understand anti-nutrients. I thought, right, we get nutrients. I didn't know there was an anti-nutrient. Right. I'm probably getting a bit too scientific now. And have I said what I'm having that with? I don't know because I've just been rambling on. No, I'm having obviously spinach and sea bass. So I'm having spinach with sea bass. 